okay let me begin so descriptive programming is a mechanism by means of which we can code certain statements in the qtp without need of object repository so when you want uh, test certain application it is very much mandatory for us to have the object repository but if there is no object repository or when i want to work with an application without storing those objects into the object repository the best way to go and do that is by means of the descriptive programming so the first statement is descriptive programming is a mechanism which helps us to test the application without need of object repository that is the first statement and second point descriptive programming gives a phenomena and while we design certain scripts these scripts would be very common so that this can work with any application any generic environment to specific to any application what is the meaning of that we can design certain pattern of scripts so that simultaneously we can work for any application it can be google it can be yahoo it can be msn it can be web tools it can be any other application but if at all we can design certain scripts or certain statements by means of descriptive those are globally referenced with respect to any object and with respect to any application that is the most advantage of the descriptive programming look at this definition and take a snapshot of this so is it done give us a second okay Point, yeah, I think both of them had some problem. Yeah. Okay, let's move. So let me start with a simple example. Uh, let me start off with a basic example. Let's say I have got my QTP. And I want to test this google application without adding object repository simple scenario qtp is there and we have got google application so usually we used to proceed adding object repository first and then by means of that object repository we used to design scripts now we don't want to use this object repository so how do we proceed and test this google so dipti can you continue So did, yeah. So we want to test the Google application through QTP without using object repository is the phenomena. So how do we do that? Adding into the object repository, we can give us a title with the asterisk name and that like that, so that uh, it will be recognized. Okay, so let me start with object repository script first. So let me add that object or that application to QTP's repository. Now this is our usual pattern. Once object repository is added, I want to enter something onto Q. I want to click on a button G and then I want to close the browser called Google. So this is our script. So I want to set what? Set certain string. And once I click, I want to wait for three seconds or two seconds. And then I want to close the browser call. So this is the script. Usually we know that, correct? Now, what is that meaning when we say browser yes. Google, page Google, web edit queue? What is that meaning? 
is there any name of uh, this is that uh, title uh, name of uh, i mean page uh, name is kind of it's the title name title of the page and browser so this is using a title proper to do that now if i run this piece of code it works without any problem let me run this piece of code so entered qtp and close the browser so let me comment this piece of code now look at this so this is the same script which is running out of object repository now i want to convert this without object repository so what can we do now now we should know we can go and do certain things so what is the creation time it is zero so come back here browser whose creation time value is zero and page whose title property is this can i do that deepthi can we do this Title is equal to Google. Yes, we can do this. And and when we say web edit, can I change that to name of that is equal to Q? Yes. And similarly, the creation time of my browser is equal to zero. Let me remove this Google, and the title of that is equal Google. So can I remove the page or the okay button name? whose name is equal to this can i go back to object repository can i remove this browser now yes yes so if you, if you don't want to do that if you don't want this creation time still you can go and say whose mic class is browser you can also say that okay okay so we will do that little later first of all let me use the same okay. properties which are there in the object repository now let me go to object okay. repository let me remove this browser and page enter object repository let me just start mm -hmm. run now so look at can you see it has entered it has clicked on google search and everything is done without any problem correct yes yes, yes. yes. now let me go to now this time with this sign in page now what is the page title since i am not sure about page title i am not taking any page title i am taking the browser which is loaded first that is the meaning of this creation time am i correct yes. yeah and since my page title changes let me replace that with the dot star what is the meaning i am not sure about what is my page title so any page title is okay for me and that representation is made in the point of dot star okay yeah and what is the name of this edit box here the name of this edit box is email if you are not sure about that you can use spy click on that and it is going to explain you whose name is called email okay okay so let me come back here let me replace that q with email and let me set and what is this button name this button name is clearly seen it is sign in so let me go back let me say click on sign in now does this work on this application it has to work correct yes let us run this script good it has entered qtp there it has clicked on google search or sign in button and that is the reason an error message is populated saying username or password you entered or incorrect so we just know how we can go and define property and property value so that this script can identify the application identify the object followed by it can operate whatever the method that we say now let me do one more thing now let me say os name can be anything so i have got one browser i have got second browser i have got third browser now so third browser i want to navigate to my mercury towers so how many browsers we have now three three browsers if i run this piece of code what browser is taken into account 
first sure yes so let me run this piece of code so qtp is struggling to find which is the best browser that it can identify and work it is still tr mm -hmm. struggling to find out it is going to waste 20 seconds time to identify in case if it is not yes. able to find it would give us some runtime error so let us see what is going to happen now it has given an error what is that yeah. it's unable to find that browser what browser so it says i'm trying to find out web edit whose name is called something but this class browser is not able to find why because it has got three browsers in there and qtp is finding it difficult to understand so how do we come out of that problem now come out yeah zero so what is my gmail browser so gmail browser is first one correct so let me say zero yeah. and let me come back here so is this clear yes now let us run this piece of code now can you see it has directly entered qtp and it has clicked on Q, uh, sign in now without any problem yeah now at this yes. point of time you must understand only one point the more easy or the more clarity that we give the information in the point of what is property what is property value what is property what is property value the more clarity that we specify qtp is more clarity enough to identify the object the more unique that we give the more clear that qtp is going to execute the method is it clear yes so if you are not able to give proper information qtp would definitely find difficult to identify that object it's always very important especially in the descriptive programming to give sufficient and unique information in the point of property and property values to the script so that qtp can read identify the application and work the methods that we say that is one important thing we have to understand by this point of time is it clear good now let me also now go to second browser i want to enter this so what can we do now so i want to talk to first browser first means second and I want to enter something on the Q and I want to enter something on the button G. Now let me run this piece of code. So it would work successfully on the second browser. Can you see that it has worked on that? Yes. Yeah. So this is the way you can try. Give more clarity information or more unique information so that QTP can easily identify the application an object so that it can identify and work on the application is it clear yeah. good and let me just pass this base script to you